Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 25th of 2024 is titled Manicouagan Impact Crater from Space. So what do we see here? Well, looking from the International Space Station down toward Quebec, and we see off to the right hand side an actual impact crater. Now impact craters are relatively rare here on Earth, not because Earth does not get impacted. Earth gets hit just as much as any other object, including our moon, which is loaded with impact craters. However, the Earth has a couple of things that minimize the number of craters that we see. One of those is the fact that we have an active surface. So we have things like volcanoes and plate motions and those wipe out craters over time. We also have erosion, which is not present on the moon. So things will erode away and even eroding just a small amount every single year just a couple of millimeters even can over a million years wipe out even a large crater. So here we just see the remnants of that crater in that circular lake off to the left, sorry, to the right hand side of the image. So that is where an something impacted uh, probably something that was relatively good size, maybe about five kilometers in size and has now formed a 100 kilometer crater. So depending on how fast it comes in, the object will form a much larger crater by many times, in this case, 20 times larger than the object that actually impacted. And of course, devastation would have been over a much wider range. Of course, this is an old crater. This happened 200 million years ago that this would have occurred. And this would still have been much smaller than other impacts that have occurred, as such as the one that is believed to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. So some craters will last for longer periods of time, some not so much. So when you have one up here in Canada, where you're going to have a lot of weathering, a lot of rain and ice and other types of erosion, they can get wiped out even a large crater in a relatively small amount of time. So 200 million years later, we can barely see this crater. We see just the remnants of it. Whereas a 200 million year old crater on the moon would look nice and sharp and fresh like it just occurred yesterday. Now in other parts of the uh, world, we can see craters that have lasted as well. So if you have, have one that happens in a drier climate where there's less wind and water erosion, you might be able to get one that would last a little bit longer. But still on Earth, things get wiped out very quickly so that we only have probably less than 200 craters known on the surface of Earth. Now again, that doesn't mean that we haven't been struck by just as many objects as our moon. But the craters on the moon last for billions of years. Whereas in some cases here, millions, tens of millions, or for large craters, hundreds of millions of years is enough to almost completely wipe them out. So that was our picture of the day for May 25th of 2024. It was titled Manicouagan impact crater from space. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be explosion on the sun. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.